For the record, yeah. For the record, yeah. For the record, yeah. All right, week 17 of the regular season, last week here. So a lot of games that matter, a lot of games that don't. So let's sort through this. Uh, last week, real quick, I won one out of my three bets, happens to be my money bet. So I was down just 328 for the week. For the season so far, I'm up $1,792, doing pretty good here. Now let's go right into this. We have Miami at Buffalo, minus two and a half. Miami needs this win to get into the playoffs. They need that wild card spot. Buffalo, they have some seeding implications. They could potentially fall to three uh, if they lose and the Pittsburgh Steelers win. Uh, so I'm gonna go Miami here. They need this desperately. Uh, next, we have Baltimore at Cincinnati, plus 13. Baltimore is another one of those teams that if they win, they're in the playoffs and Cincinnati has nothing to play for. It is a high spread, but Baltimore is hitting that stride. I think they can cover a uh, two touchdown win. Uh, then we go to Pittsburgh at Cleveland, minus nine and a half. The Steelers are sitting Big Ben and Cleveland needs this to get into the playoffs. I'm going to Cleveland here. They can win by double digits. Then we go to Minnesota at Detroit, plus four and a half. Neither of these teams have anything to play for. I just think that Detroit is just completely done. I'm going Minnesota here, minus four and a half. Next, we have New York Jets at New England, minus three. Patriots are favorite here at home. I get it. The Jets actually benefit from losing here, but I can see Belichick coming around and preventing that from happening. They might tank this game. Next, we go to Dallas at New York Giants, plus one and a half. Dallas actually needs this game. However, the Giants are playing pretty good defense and they still might compete in this game. We have Atlanta at Tampa Bay, minus seven. Atlanta has nothing to play for, except maybe a slight bit of pride. Atlanta's never beaten Tom Brady before, but I still think that Bucks win. I don't think they win by more than a touchdown. We go to Green Bay at Chicago, plus four. Green Bay needs this win, and then they will secure a first round bye, which is really important. I think they go all in. Next, we have Las Vegas at Denver, plus two and a half. Neither of these teams have anything to play for, but I'm going to go with Denver here, plus two and a half. Then we have Jacksonville at Indy, minus 14. Indy is actually on the outside looking in. They're going to need this win, and they also need either Miami, Baltimore, or Cleveland to lose their game. I'm going to go Indy here. Next, we have the LA Chargers at Kansas City, plus three and a half. Yes, you heard that correctly. Kansas City is the underdog here because they're sitting Mahomes and they're sitting a lot of their starters. I'm going to go Chargers here. Next, we have Arizona at LA Rams, minus three. Jared Goff is out. He has surgery on his thumb. He, when he was throwing a ball last week, he hit it on someone's helmet. I'm going to Arizona. We have Seattle at San Fran, plus six and a half. Seattle needs this game just for seeding implication, but they have secured their division. So which the spread is minus six and a half. I think that's perfect setup for a touchdown win. We have New Orleans at Carolina, plus five and a half. Alvin Kamara crushed it last week with six touchdowns, but in this week he has COVID. So now New Orleans is going without any of the running backs, no Michael Thomas. They're severely missing some players, but I still think they can squeak out this win. Tennessee at Houston, plus seven and a half. Tennessee actually needs this game to secure the division win. There's still a potential where Tennessee can go from division win to out of the playoffs. So they're playing hard. Washington at Philadelphia, plus three and a half. Washington also needs this game. There's a scenario where they can make the division win or be out of the playoffs. So also with this being the last game of the week, guess the winner in the final score, comment below. If you guess it right, I'll give you $500. And then my three best for this week, bet number one, I have a two team teaser, New Orleans and Seattle. I'm only putting $500 in this because they aren't that desperate to win. Bet number two is my bet of the week. This is a serious lock because I have Tennessee and Green Bay on a two team teaser and both of these teams desperately need a win. So I'm with $2,000 on this if you have the means to do it. And then bet number three, I'm gonna have a three team teaser, Baltimore minus three, Indy minus four, Cleveland plus a half. I'm putting 1200 to win a thousand. Let's go. For the record, yeah. for the record. Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I gotta up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen.